Hi, welcome to this tutorial, uh, SQL tutorial video, and today we're going to talk about nulls. Really, really odd thing, a null. Um, it takes um, it takes a bit to kind of get your head around it if it's if you're new to it. So what a null is, um, if we look at this table here, each of these uh, cells have data in them. What a null is is an absence of data. So if, as an example, I show you this cell here, it's empty, it has, it's an empty string, but it, it, it does have data in the, in the fact that it is an empty string. It's not a space or anything, just an empty string, uh, like um, that, just an empty string. Whereas this is an absence of data, it's nothing. There's nothing there. Um, we're going to talk about nulls. We're going to go through a few examples using nulls, but that's kind of it. A null is nothing. There's, there's nothing there in the database for this cell, so it's represented by null. Now, let me um, alter my select here and say, get rid of everything from, um, from employees, uh, department equals empty string. And it will return me those two values that we saw before. They have a value, but it is an empty string. We can change our syntax to, to find nulls, to find an absence of data. Um, we don't do equals, we do is. So we can say, tell me, show me everything where the department is null. And it returns that, which is correct. The department is null. We can also change this syntax slightly. So it's, um, instead of equals and not equals to, we say is not null. And that will return everything that actually has a value in the department column, even if that value is empty string. Now, let me uh, just comment that out on this. Let me insert another row in here. And let's just talk about... Um, data types and nulls. So <clears throat> I'm going to insert another row. It's going to be employee X. The department column is going to be an empty string. The office column is going to be an empty string. The hire date is going to be an empty string. The leave date is going to be a null. And our active is going to be an empty string. So you can see that. If I insert that, that and I run my select, you'll see, in fact, I need to put that back. Let me just put that back. You'll see Yes, this is an empty string, and this is an empty string. This is not an empty string, and nor is the active column. When it comes to um, empty values, as in as in empty strings, you can put an empty string in a text column, but a date and a number column won't allow an empty string because they aren't strings, they are numbers and dates. So you either have a null, or if you try to put something blank in there, the default is the first of the first 1900. That's what will be inserted by default if you try and put in an empty string in a date cell. And with a number, if you try and put an empty string in a number, the default will be zero. That will be inserted into that cell. It's really important to appreciate and understand nulls as opposed to uh, empty strings. Um, particularly because of this sort of thing here where I'm showing you um, show me everything where it's an empty string um, it doesn't return the nulls and it shouldn't return the nulls because the nulls don't kind of match it but let's think about this if I just comment that out what I want to see is everything where the department is not FNO1 so let's do that um, First of all, let me just do FNO1 equals FNO1. So I've got 22 rows. If I run that, it returns me seven rows. So if I say is not FNO1, I should get 22 minus seven. So I should get 15 rows. And I don't. I get 14 rows. And that's all because of this null. Um, this, this null is, uh, it can cause problems if you don't properly appreciate them and deal with them when you are doing your selects so this value did not um, get returned for either of those two 
conditions where it equals or where it doesn't equal either way that value didn't get returned because there's nothing there it's not a value it's nothing that can be compared to so what SQL did in order to do to deal with this is they created a function called is null. So I'm going to try and do a quick demonstration of that now. Um, what is null does is it takes the value in this in the cell that it's uh, referenced and it returns. If it finds a null, it returns something else as defined by um, by the by the person who writes the SQL. So let me show you id full name department and so i'll run that we can see we've got a null there so i want to instead of the null i'm going to i'm going to now return a fourth column using is null okay and is null exp ex expects two um two parameters one is which cell we're going to look at which is department and two what do you want me to do with the null if i find the null what do you want me to do with it i want you to replace it with an empty string so I'll run that. You can see that's been replaced by an empty string. I can replace it with whatever I want. I can replace it with, with where does it matter? I can replace it with whatever. Um, I run that. Ah, in fact, it's a char four field, so it'll only ever be four characters. But I can run it. I can, I can replace it with another one of these. So hr row one. Um, that field department is null. The is null command goes to the department and says yes it's null what do you want me to return instead of null i want you to return that value ideally an empty string and what it means we can do is we can say um so we can say get me everything where department equals empty string it returns those um but if we say get me everything where is null department equals empty string we get a fit so to try and explain that what that's doing is it's as part of this function it's changing the value here if it finds a null to be an empty string so that makes that condition true for employee t get me everything where the result of this function equals empty string so if the department isn't null, it returns whatever's there anyway. In this case, it's empty string. If it is null, change it to an empty string and then return empty string. And then that makes that condition work. And it's the same with dates. It's the same with... Um, so let's look at this. Um, let's bring the higher date in. So we've got a higher date there. We can do an is null on the higher date. So is null takes in the parameter and returns a value. Now it's going to be the same data type. So I will return I'll return 31st of December um, 2000. Uh, because that's null, it's returned 31st of December 2000. Funny things, Nulls. That's the end of this video. Um, if you've got any questions or comments, please leave them. If you liked it, if it made sense, please like it. Um, subscribe. It's all appreciated. Thanks for your time.